Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head down to Manchester in England and this is a very very new brewery but they do seem to have had some very good plaudits despite their very short existence so far. So we're going to go to Cloudwater Brew Company and have a taste of one of their summer range beers and this one is the Grisette. Now of course as I've explained in the other Grisette video that I've done for you which I think was a Toul one actually, um, this is well, this is a style that the Belgian miners used to drink. It's from the 1800s and it's only recently kind of coming back into fashion if you like through the craft industry so it should be a very nice beer for us to review especially when it's from quite a highly rated English brewery as well. So as is usual then with my beer reviews I'll take you through a very brief history of the brewery. It will only be two or three minutes long but if you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward the brewery website's in the video description for you below and there's also a link down there that will take you to my future reviews that I'll do from Cloudwater and please go and like my Facebook and my Untapped profile as well. Feel free to add me as a friend on Untapped too, I'm just starting that up actually. So anyway, to tell you about Cloudwater themselves, as I told you Cloudwater are based in Manchester but Cloudwater was founded in early 2015 by Paul Jones and James Campbell after the latter left the Marble Brewing Company and they are also joined in this venture by Al, by Al Wall and Will France who have a wealth of experience in home brewing, professional brewing and also in bar management and alcohol retail as well. They take the name Cloud Water incidentally from an old Buddhist poem so it's actually quite an interesting uh, concept they've put together for the brewery. But the company have signed a lease for an archway in the city of Manchester and this will allow them to age and to sour many of their beers at up to about 200 barrels a time. So they're starting off with a 2400 hectolitre brew kit for the moment but they've also got enough floor space that they can expand this twice and even three times should they need to and they're also actually planning further expansion beyond that. But interestingly the brewery aren't actually going to have a core range of beers but instead they'll have four distinctive seasonal ranges of beer and if you saw the label in the bottle just when uh, when I brought it up at the start of the video um, you can see that as well. They're going to have four different ranges, one for each season and uh, essentially a lot of their output then will be strictly limited edition but they said they think that um, IPAs and Pale Ales, the popular styles, will be around all year but they'll just be adjusted depending on the season. So you should get um, quite an interesting variance in the beers here and uh, James Campbell apparently is quite a well known brewer around the Manchester area and apparently has a good reputation from the Marble Brewing Company as well so I'm sure there will be some very interesting things coming out from these guys but the brewery initially planned their launch in March 2015 in Manchester and they officially opened their brew pub in early April as well so I'll put the Facebook page down there for them as well so do go and check that out but you will see quite a few different beers from Cloudwater so I'll just try and review um, some of them when I can when I find them in shops and things because they seem to come in and out up here. I've seen them once or twice but this is a new one and when I bought this in the shop it had only come out. But let me just bring up the camera and we'll uh, have a little look at the artwork before we get stuck in on this. So this one as I told you it's 3.5% and it's a grisette style beer. It's a kind of mirage they've got on this one. You can't really see it too well um, just because of the light but you can see the cloud water symbol. It's maybe more visible on the bottle cap here but that's the kind of cloud water thing on the top and it's actually quite nicely presented. This is to do with an actual Buddhist symbol as well from what I remember reading on the website but this one comes in at 3.5%. It tells you on the back actually, it says a, a light very refreshing and balanced version of a Saison. The bittering hop in this one is Pearl, the aroma hops are El Dorado and Williamet and also Galaxy. The malt base is Best Ale, Wheat and Flaked Oat and the yeast used is Bell Saison yeast and as I told you the um, the grisette style is a kind of Belgian saison. It's from the 1800s, from the Belgian mining days, and it was the beer that it was the same idea as a farmhouse beer, except this is what the miners drunk. So, should be a very, very nice one for us to try. So, let's get this guy open, and we'll get on with the tasting here. So, as you can see, a nice kind of smoky opening on this. But the last grisette I reviewed. I think was from uh, was either from Toyol or McKellar, I think, but it was really quite nice actually. It's just a kind of more hoppy version of your typical um, Belgian Saison if you like so it should be a very nice one for us to try this. So as you can see, I'll just bring the light up and let you see the colour of that a bit better, it's poured a very kind of bright yellowy straw, it definitely is 
very bright kind of not even amber at all it's just a bright golden yellowy color not transparent at all as you can see if I put my fingers behind it there's about a half finger or to a two-thirds finger of a frothy white head there and that's just fading away that will eventually become quite a thin foamy layer but there's some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head there so it looks a very very nice beer so let's get stuck into the aroma for this one and see what it's like this one's quite interesting actually there's a lot of um, kind of grassy hop character I think coming out on this one that's the most prominent thing it's actually a kind of wet grassy nose that you're getting off of this but underneath you're getting the typical elements that you would expect to the style there's a nice bready and yeasty component in there but there's a little bit of wheat as well I think the wheat in this one actually comes across as a little bit prominent and when I'm thinking there's there is yeah, there is wheat added to this one but it's quite a nice smelling wheat actually I have to say that's a nice smooth and kind of sweet wheat if that makes sense but there's a little bit of peppery and sort of clove spice in this one too but there's a nice there's a good grassy uh, component to this as I was saying that's the most prominent component of the flavour and perhaps a little bit of lemony citrus too but it smells very very fresh and very kind of gardeny if that makes sense very very nice smelling beer actually yeah really interesting one so without further ado let's get stuck into this guy so this is the Cloudwater Brew Company from Manchester down in England and this is their Grisette beer from the summer range 2015 Slangia quite interesting very very light actually Yeah, well they said on the back that it was very light and very refreshing and quite balanced and this is actually one of the lightest um, sort of Belgian -y style beers that I've come across actually it's got a really wet mouthfeel and it is very easy drinking and at 3.5% you know it is a lighter one that you could potentially session a little bit definitely that but yeah it's, it's quite interesting it's um you've got a nice very light bready uh, blanket that just goes over the middle of your palate there and it sort of builds up you get a bit more of the kind of um, wheaty flavours just building up as you move into the aftertaste but around the edge of the tongue you've got this really smooth um, grassy hop character there as the liquid's actually in your mouth there's just a little bit of citrus in there too yeah you'll feel this little oily bubble at the front of, just behind the very front of your tongue and there's a nice grassy and slightly lemony citrus flavour just comes out there but otherwise you just got a blanket across the middle of your palate there that's a very light uh, bready flavour it's, it's really quite nice actually Not in terms of some Belgian beers you can really be blasted with this big um, bready and yeasty character here but this one is, is actually quite nice and quite subtle so it makes the beer very sessionable and very just very easy drinking actually but yeah a very smooth and very bready character coming out of this one you're not picking up some of the heavier and slightly sweeter flavours from the yeast in this I think but there is a little bit of a kind of peppery and slightly clovey spice in this one. It is quite mild, but you just feel that building as you move into the aftertaste there. And there's a sort of kind of wet bready flavour that you're getting from this. It's the beer, the mouthfeel of this beer is very, very wet. It's a lot of beers can come out with a bit of a dry character. Some of these Belgian ones can be very dry with some of the uh, the grassy hop and the lemony citrus, but this one is very wet and very refreshing. And that's exactly what they said it was going to be on the bottle. So ticks to them for that. But yeah, grassy hop around the edges of the palate there where you would expect to find the hoppy characteristics of the beer. Maybe it could be just a little bit of aromatic character but not any dry aromat aromaticity at all. Very, very wet, very, very nice sessionable beer this. As I say, you've just got that little oily bubble behind the front of your tongue there that brings out a little bit of lemony citrus too. But pretty much uh, uniformly around the edge of your tongue there, a nice grassy hop character. yeah 
really nice and very sessionable actually so a nice bready blanket like I was saying and a grassy hop character around the edge of your tongue they're not dry at all just very smooth and very light very light and very refreshing like they say it is on the bottle beautifully done actually but quite different from the other grisette that I tried before so I'll need to try one or two more of these actually and just see how I get on with them but yeah in terms of the mouthfeel this one definitely light bodied and um, very smooth carbonation on this one in fact and it's got a big wet mouthfeel not oily if you like like some of the Belgian ones where you've got a bigger bready presence this is just a very wet mouthfeel and um, just very light and very sessionable this one very very smooth on the malt base as well, smooth in all regards, smooth hot character around the, the edge of the palate like I say and a nice smooth bready malt base in this. There's not much more you can say about this, it's a really nicely done yeah, and very smooth beer. So yeah, it's been really interesting to review my first one from Cloudwater Brew Company. Um, a very nice, a very light and sessionable beer this, so if you're interested in your Belgian styles and you want one that's a little bit different and a little bit less heavy then this is exactly what you want to go for. This is one of their summer rains, so obviously a light and sessionable beer is exactly what they want to go for. And they've done it beautifully with this one. So, yeah. So if you do find yourself in Manchester or you're from there, do give Cloudwater a try if you haven't already. They're getting very good plaudits for all of their different beers. This is only one of them, but I can tell you this is actually a very nice one. And hopefully I can review some more from them in the near future. But yeah, thanks for watching my beer reviews. As always, let me know in the comment section below your own thoughts on this beer if you do happen to have tried it yourself. Always interesting to read them. In the meantime, until my next beer review, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff, like my Facebook page, and also add me as a friend on Untapped as well. Much appreciated, but until my next review, slange you for now, and hopefully I can have some more from Manchester in the near future. Slange you.